What happens if an entire country's air traffic control system shuts down? Let me explain. Air traffic controllers are responsible for guiding thousands of aircraft safely through the skies. But when they go on strike, the results can be chaotic. One of the most famous examples happened in 1981, when 13,000 air traffic controllers in the U.S. went on strike, demanding better pay and working conditions. However, since federal employees were legally forbidden from striking, President Ronald Reagan fired over 11,000 controllers, leaving the U.S aviation system in disarray. With most controllers gone, thousands of flights were canceled or delayed, and airports had to reduce traffic by 50%. The military and a small group of replacement controllers stepped in to help, but airspace became severely restricted, forcing airlines to cut routes and reduce operations for months. Modern strikes in Europe and South America have caused similar disruptions, forcing airlines to reroute flights through neighboring countries or cancel services altogether. In extreme cases, some governments have even deployed military controllers to keep air traffic moving.